We claim to love democracy, but we shy away from funding it. When we fail to fund our democracy, this is the fact. We are failing to own it. As noted earlier, party financing is the root of corruption and the plundering of the state. The role of a politician is so critical for the sustenance of a sovereign. It is a job that somebody must do. We all need to be led. Just as a headless goat is a dead goat, so is it that a politician-led state is a dead state. Our parties are arrowheads of our democracy. They are drivers of the policies and decisions that bring life to our democracy and the fuller lives that we desire. They must be well resourced to competently shape the development of our country. They must cease being election machines and become drivers of policy development and management. If we truly love our democracy, then we must put our money where our mouth is. If we leave the financing of our parties to business persons, we will be left with no option than to expect more plundering with impunity. Maybe we should be considering the establishment of a democracy fund to fund the activities of our political parties. The funding arrangement for the parties must be accompanied with restrictions on campaign financing. The profligacy must stop and must be effectively monitored by the Electoral Commission. We must also introduce stringent and public accountability system to ensure proper compliance with said rules. Corruption in Ghana, according to Imani, is estimated at $3 billion a year. If we work to eliminate corruption and commit 20, 30% of this saving to the fund, Ghana will be better off. Funding may be by a set allocation from all the domestic revenue due the states, or the introduction of what now may be sticky now, a democracy tax. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, we must pay for the democracy we want. Funding our democracy through a democracy fund will make us better people, sustaining good values and building an honest economy. If we decide not to fund it, we will still end up funding it anyway, but really dearly. But this time, it will be true corruption, which destroys our value systems and threatens the democracy we have worked so hard to develop. As a matter of fact, like I said, it will cost us more if we don't fund it ourselves. So if I may be biblical, choose this day how you may want to pay for your democracy. Millions by democracy fund or billions by corruption. Choose. The democracy fund may be merged with the independent constitutional bodies fund proposed by the CRC report. I ever recommend that the inclusion of the judiciary also in this um, ICB, ICB fund. They also don't need to depend on the executive so much on their peers. I also recommend that the administrators should also be subject to two-thirds majority because it's a very sensitive part and we need to have consensus on who is there.